Hi there Leo and welcome to your modern Shima Maria Maria and Rainbow Land here with the Heart of a Weekly Report from the 4th to the 12th of September 18. If you're not a Leo then you can just find your sign in the text below. It's the seven signs of the week. And the first sign of the week for your sign, Leo, is Mercury is moving out of your sign. He's changing signs into his home sign number two of Virgo. In here he's, he wants to scrutinize things and for you and your second house it's about your finances, your self-worth, your values, your value system in general and um, it can be about your money as well, your resources, the resources you build. And here he's, Mercury is scrutinizing things, going into the detail, organizing them, putting them into a routine in your day-to-day, -day, daily work, daily life, and making it healthy. A health situation for your finances, your resources. So, he's moving in there on the 6th. Now you just have the North Node there. This is a good aspect he makes uh, at the beginning because he, and the Sun is already in there. He's making a grand trine between Saturn, again it's reactivated, and so between Saturn and Capricorn and Uranus in Taurus. This grand trine means that you will be able to manifest things in your routine, day-to-day -day life, health situation in general for your body and your system and your soul so you listen to when you need to sleep and stop working in a way because Saturn is going to force you to do so if you don't do it Saturn will make you do it and you don't want Saturn to do anything because he doesn't care about your feelings he's just a captain that gives you an order now and if you don't do it shh, no. <laughs> and Uranus over there in your 10th house is creating new possibilities for your future and your, uh, in, for your destiny in your, in your career, you know, and the ambitions and goals you have. So Mercury in this combination is going to make you able to communicate some of the things out that you wanted and manifest through your communication and also through organizing things in your head that makes things easier for you in your routine, day-to-day -day work and your work life in general, your career and maybe creates more money for you. Sign number two of this week <coughs> is that the la, Saturn is going direct in your sixth house. Finally, you know, Saturn is moving very slow, slowly. So it's not going to go fast, but it will change the situation probably where you have had some obstacles in your day-to-day -day work life or with your health issues or whatever organizational skills. It will make it easier for you now because he's moving forward, seeing things in a new light. He's still in his cycle. He's not out of his shadow face, of course, yet. So it's just a new light upon an old situation. And he's moving backwards for one third part, more or less, of the year. So it's been a long time that he has been moving retrograde. So it's nice for him to move forward. Now we have only three planets moving retrograde, which is nice. I mean, it depends on how many planets you count in, but just keep it at three now. And that means that we, it's time for more action, outward action. Oh, what is that? I think it's a lawnmower coming here. I'm at the ashram, the meditation center of Denmark, from the heartfulness. Remember, you can always ask me if you want to be guided to a teacher near you. It's volunteers for free. And it's definitely three times more powerful than any meditation because someone is sitting with you giving you transmission while you meditate. This means they turn it up because they have the focus with you and it's for free. It's almost like a healer lifting you when you're doing your meditation. Anyways, so the thing is that sign number three of this week is Venus. Venus. Here, where is she? Uh, Venus is here. She's in the final degrees. And by the way, did I say that Mercury is moving, yes I said, on the 6th, 
changing signs and Saturn in the seventh changing direction. Venus is also changing signs this week. It's a sign number three of the week. And Venus changing signs into a from, of course, your third house of communication where she has felt really nice at home. She's going through the critical degrees in a square with Mars. I'm going to talk about that in sign number five. So it will be a little mm, tense before she moves into your fourth house of your personal life. Your home, your family, your foundation, inner child is going to be affected now. And she is moving in, or she already did last week. She is now in the shadow phase, in this cycle, you know, when planet moves forward, moves backwards, and then moves forward again. Forwards, backwards, forwards. Three times passing the same zone. And in this zone, it's passing three times. It's going to take a while for whatever issue comes up now within your family situation or within your communication with other people in general because it's through these two houses you it's going for retrograde. There will be some kind of complication that's also a lesson for you in life to improve your relationships in these areas. So don't hate it but embrace it and love what it's going to change for you to the better. And know that if you look within, instead of always reacting towards whatever people reflect to you, then you can change the situations much faster, with less complications. Because whatever you meet in this zone is going to be a theme in your life for, until the 18th of December when she moves. Plus, minus, of course, in astrology, the, the dates are a little fluid when they are larger. Because if it's happening now, it can also already leave at the 15th, who knows. But it's within three months, plus minus, more than three months actually, until the 18th. So, yeah, sign number four of the week is the moon, full moon, no, new moon, of course, in Virgo. This also means that the energy is going to be a little low. It's always lower when we go towards a full a new moon because it's going to go through cancer. Uh, and then it's going to go into its um, dark moon phase. It's going to go into its dark moon phase as we reach Thursday, Friday. <laughs> so it goes through Cancer, the twelfth house, where you need to rest. You need to take some, spend some time alone. But maybe because of the opposition to Pluto and Saturn and Mars, it's not going to let you. Because some work situation, some day-to-day -to -day routine work needs to be done. <laughs> Moving into Leo, your sign, making you emotional, sensitive, intuitive. Hi there. Hi. Making you more intuitive. Oh my God. Was this synchronicity, a cat is intuition, is your yin energy. And she comes while I say that. <laughs> oh my God, how I love the universe. Thank you. You are so intelligent, my little love. This is an ashram cat, and I don't know if he, I've seen it around the ashram, but I don't think it belongs here. But now, staying here. Oh, you are so nice. You are so nice. I hope you don't. Um, okay. Anyways, um, the moon will then give you lower energy from Thursday. By no, no, maybe Friday. No more Friday, Saturday. St be careful you don't project your own emotions to other people in this during this phase because the energy is low so we have that tendency it's going to be a new moon in virgo so this means that it highlights this area of your chart and makes it possible for you for the next half year to improve your situation in regards to your resources money habits preferences in life you know your self esteem because when we have a new moon, we have half a year until the full moon to improve these situations and then we will see the full fruitions in half a year. And since this stuff got something to do with your money as well, and your habits, etc. Financially, it's a good idea to put some focus here, to do some work here, right? But we have a good constellation with the Grand Trine, so I think that Things can improve if you just do your work and follow the rules of Saturn, who also says that you have to rest when you have to rest. So sign number, <laughs> this is a cutie, sign number five of this week is Mars. 
Oh, ouch! It's it's. Uh, oh my God! It put. I'm sorry. It put its claws into my legs. Mars is going direct in the sixth house. In square to Pluto to to Venus. Venus. Mars. Just a second. Let me check that the camera is still rolling because I seriously do not want to do this again. Time number hundred because the camera has been teasing me a little bit. So. It's moving direct in the critical zone of your sixth house. So be careful. Be careful to listen to your body. Be careful to listen to Saturn. That sets the rules. Be realistic. Do what you're supposed to do. Don't skip anything. Do things in the right order and you'll be fine. Don't get into an argument because you are aggressive or react impulsively like, ah. Some, someone is being unfair. Breathe deeply and try to just act from the heart with an open heart. But use this assertiveness to move forward in your routines and work life instead, even though there may be some conflicts between you and your partner, business partner, personal partner, who knows, someone else. <laughs> He's moving out on the 11th, so it's during, it's during the 10th and the 9th perhaps that it's going to be critical uh, or actually during the whole week a little bit because it's not really it's going to meet up with the square to Uranus so it's a kind of critical time for Mars there that can also be sorry Leo <laughs> a little bit of a camera problem here sign number seven six of the week is actually Jupiter forming an awesome Jupiter here in Scorpio in your fourth house, home, family, foundation. Pluto up there in your sixth house, routines, health, diet. And the, uh, um, Neptune over here in your eighth house of deep transformation and deep spirituality are having an awesome conversation. This means your intuition is awake in fourth, eighth. You have to use your intuition and spiritually transform on a deeper level, Pluto here, so that through your day-to-day -day life and routines, you integrate your spirituality in a way that actually gives you the results that you want. Through altering your consciousness, through meditation, or whatever practice, or just working also with yourself on a deeper level so that you emotionally transform your emotions instead of, you know, just blaming it on other people. Try to change from within step by step don't do drugs is what i'm advising you to because of course neptune over here in pisces wants to do that and skip steps perhaps because it's easier sometimes um mars is also in the sixth house wanting to yeah yeah just do it fast something fast but it's not a good idea through drugs we create holes in our astral bodies um and through the, these holes all sorts of energies can enter and you have no control over them and you don't want them. And it takes time to heal those holes again. So it's a bad idea to use drugs if you can help not doing it. It's an awesome idea. <laughs> These aspects will help you if you spiritually grow and evolve in the way you know if you follow your intuition and your heart. How to you can walk in nature if you don't know to get more in contact with yourself. Learn to meditate. Whatever way you clear your mind and get rid of some of the noise that we have mentally. Sign number seven of the week is crisis is your friend. That is a theme. Any crisis you get into is a friend because crisis will create open doors afterwards and remove obstacles <clears throat> that prevent you to move in f from moving forward. That's why crises are here. So a crisis is a big clean out. Don't be afraid of them. They're good friends. Sign number seven is also the card. I'm going to draw it at home so that you can see this beautiful landscape I'm sitting in right now. <laughs> While I'm talking about the card. Thank you very much. The card of the week. Oh, a tree is falling. So they just... Oh, that was well done. Impressed. You felt the wind? My goodness, so this was a, a really, really good point was made. And Andrea, uh, if you are a little bit on my film on YouTube, it's, it's uh, the different star signs, is it okay? It's okay. Okay, awesome. 
Yes, I have a channel. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> you are in the Taurus sign of the week. We are up here from Italy. He managed to take down a tree by his hands. While we were doing the report, he tilted it here. John is cutting it over here because he wants to start the fire. So Leo, your card of the week, how appropriate for you guys, it's the Emperor sitting on his throne in the middle of a rough nature and then he's actually having your fire sign, Aries, sister sign, Aries, the symbols um, on his chair and he'll, he also have, has power symbols, he's kind of like the Leo king, <laughs> his masculine potency and creative force as well where he's, he's ruling his kingdom with this force and he's, he has the apple in his hand and he has his, he has every sign of that he is he's the, the king but um, Aries is the, if, the, 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 the wanting to, to go on adventure and investigate and if you look at the mountains in the background the sun is rising like a, like a symbol of of nature, nature giving light to the whole uh, situation. He's he's quite serious though, thing, and he is in in thoughts. And you can see how will full willpower he is. And um, yeah, well, he will symbolize the leader abilities that you have, the ability to be in front, the new start that is going on in your life now and manifesting for you, Leos. The ability to carry a responsibility, and um, if you draw, I, I'm drawing this card for you. So, as I'm drawing this card, the question is: if if you are having the power and leadership uh, in ways that are strengthening for yourself and others, so it's it's about time that that you incorporate more structure and order in your life. It indicates that it's time for you to to to. Um, Spend time on, on the uh, material world, as we are in in, in uh, Virgo uh, with the Sun and uh, Mercury. And it's time to be ambitious, start acting and manifesting the things, the dreams is, you have to make a reality now with the Earth signs and things that has something to do with status also for you. So it's an ideal situation to start a project too, uh, business-wise or at home, and let your energies canalize. Uh, Channelize um, in a way that you 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 make them work in a practical way. It can also indicate a, a meeting with some authority figure, a father person, or someone who's who's having an, an effect on you. And it can be it, it can both be kind of, kind of like a powerful friend or also a st stubborn <laughs> stubborn person, like a, who's trying to dominate you. Um, so it's material success, dynamic, um, ultrovert, masculine, yang energy, the archetype of the father and creativity. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this week. I truly appreciate it. And uh, remember, if you haven't subscribed already, that you can do so. And uh, you can always leave any kind of comments here. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful nature images here. Big, big hugs from your modern team and see you next week. And of course, and by the way, you have to remember this. Don't follow trends, follow your heart. Yeah. Summer, summer, summer time. Summer time. Summer time.